Hello, welcome to uh, my uh, rigging uh, time lapse uh, of uh, rigging uh, Blobby front. I have uh, decided to use a rigging tool that calls uh, Duik. That is uh, very good. I have used it before, but uh, now there was uh, a little a newer. Uh, application uh, for this one. It's free but you can also make donation for it. It's a guy that have uh, done this uh, animation tool and it's uh, really fabulous to work with. So um, you can both uh, make it uh, do puppet uh, tools and the standard uh, rigging uh, that I have choose to do on uh, Blobby. Uh, for animation on this one. As you see here, I am um, working with it now. Uh, I um, had uh, forgot to put the pivot point uh, right on my head, so I had to take some sp uh, steps back and uh, put the pivot point with the, by the neck and then do the duke tool again. When you go into the duke tool, uh, you see I have uh, right arm, right hand, uh, I have left knee, left foot. Uh, if you name uh, the things uh, right, uh, it's gonna try to fill out uh, the different uh, parts. But uh, like you ha maybe don't have all the parts that uh, can fill out, so sometimes you have to choose them yourself. And now you see here, I get the controls, and then I just uh, put the hair, I just link up to the head, and then the hair is gonna follow. Uh, another thing here, now I try out the arms, and I was not satisfied with this. Uh, uh, here so you see when you have like done the duke tool you have you can't really just move uh, things around uh, it's like scripting uh, it and if you see here my uh, arm was not bending and that's again the pivot point I was not uh, I did this little too fast and didn't check the pivot point uh, that it was where I wanted it so I had to do the duke uh, three times before I was satisfied with my rig but it's uh, really not uh, that hard it's uh, you go just through this uh, dialogue box and uh, you are fast uh, finished then i just hide all the other layers so i just have uh, can see the controllers and now i can uh, control uh, blobby with this So decided for the face uh, that I wanted to have some movements uh, that I uh, could uh, just repeat and therefore I um, did uh, uh, for like the eyes and eyebrows and nose and mouth I did uh, compositions uh, where I put in keyframes uh, for uh, some frames where I just uh, moved the eyebrows like you said so here and um, then I um, just have uh, face controls uh, that is sliders for the mouth and eyebrows and eyes uh, like the pupil uh, for the eye uh, and where I can uh, put in an expression that uh, gonna make uh, that I can slide uh, the eyes instead of just move them and uh, then I don't have to just move it around uh, like crazy <laughs> I can stick to this uh, thing and you see I uh, frames to time I change this to frames to time for um, uh, so it's uh, just the slider response on frames instead of uh, time. 
uh, and uh, I forgot to say there that um, what you do is like you time re- remap uh, the whole composition like here I do the nose uh, so I did the same with the nose so I don't have to just move it around and uh, then I put a slider to the nose also and uh, but first when you come out uh, from this composition you have to time remap it and it's the time remap that make this thing work uh, on the layer so you can uh, make him like you want and uh, after I have uh, done this what you see here I am uh, was uh, finished uh, with rigging all the characters uh, for the the animals I have just uh, the duke but I uh, put on um, puppets instead uh, I thought it was fitting better and uh, I'm not gonna like move them like crazy if I would uh, have like blobby in a whole uh, character setting and I would do uh, some more of then uh, right now I'm gonna have this like f- for TV sequences that gonna be like 40 seconds long but if I want to do a film uh, I could just um, now maybe do some mouth shapes and uh, I would have a character that I really could have in the show uh, yeah, of course, some face head turns. Uh, you can also uh, have Duke to help you if you have uh, drawn your character from the side. Uh, so you can set up your character like this, uh, like I showed you with sliders. That's uh, uh, the way you do it, so you get a nice rig. Okay, this was uh, everything for this time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed to see some of my rigging. And uh, I have uh, more coming up uh, when I start to animate. But uh, also you can check out the character animation uh, tryout uh, for the new future that have uh, came in uh, 2015 of uh, After Effects. Uh, where you can be uh, the face of a character and uh, I was almost uh, wanted to do this on Blobby but uh, I uh, thought it was too little time to really experience uh, the feeling and how to do it so I decided to do the traditional animation instead uh, but uh, I did a time-lapse sequence of uh, my experience of uh, trying out this uh, new tool that i probably gonna try to use in another uh, character design. Okay, thank you for this time. 